the second day of 2016 new year and uh, I want to review a little bit what did I play lately in 2015 and a little bit earlier and uh, just to let you know my opinion about some games what I like what I will play what was the best and which were <laughs> which were the worst as you see now uh, I'm on PlayStation 4 my desktop is uh, just cause 3 which is complete recently uh, mostly with the help of my son Andrew so but also I enjoyed this game pretty much unfortunately uh, there is no multiplayer I wish it could be multiplayer I can have so much fun in this game okay anyway games to play ah um, I I downloaded this world of tanks I probably will try world of tanks for two reasons. One, I, I like these uh, realistic uh, games um, with realistic uh, maybe vehicles or realistic armor. Another, the developers of this game, World of Tank, is uh, from the same country, from Belarus. Uh, so I just want to kind of support them. Um, and I have a quest I have a quest, I will show you games I play through the trophies. So I have a quest to get 100% of trophies for all games I ever played or I, I have on, on uh, PSN, on PS2 and PS3. Okay, I will start from... Um, okay, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat X. Uh, some games, these two games are very interesting. Sometimes you start with your uh, some games with your children, but um, later, for example, this Tokitori. Tokitori, it's a pretty nice game, and it looks like puzzle game, uh, like platform puzzle game for the children. However, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. So later, children give up to play it, and <laughs> you should complete. So I, I try to play. The, uh, I try to give this uh, game to play to little daughter, uh, like seven, eight years. But it's too difficult, of course. Mortal Kombat. It's uh, mostly for son Andrew, so he will still continue to have hundred percent of trophies. And Assassin's Creed Rogue on PS3. Yes, it's my game, and I'm going to continue it. So I installed back my PS3 to complete my PS3 games and you see my progress in Assassin's Creed Rock is just very initial like oh some sequence too you know unbelievably uh, what happened of course it's it was released the game was released together with Assassin's Creed Unity and I play Unity on PS4 and PS3 was uh, difficult to connect to two games uh, con console on at the same time. And Rogue was so similar to uh, Black Flag, uh, so kind of, yeah, t t almost, it's not the same, it's not the same game, but so close. So I was thinking, oh, okay, I'll keep it for, for a while. So I kept it for over one year and now I should return back to it. Never Alone, Never Alone is, uh, it was a free game uh, on PSN, uh, PSN Plus to try, I tried it, it's a pretty good game if you have somebody to play with, like two people, so you can play on the same, uh, on, on the same PlayStation, two people together by two controllers, if uh, you have a partner, so I suggest you to try this game, it's a very nice cooperative game, easy, not difficult, but Shadow of Mordor, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Um, uh, this is really good game. So if you're considering uh, to have this game, to buy this game or not, to try or something, I probably will strongly suggest you to try it. So there is Shadow of Mordor and two DLCs, Lord of Hunt and uh, uh, the Bright Lord, which are also pretty, pretty interesting. So, achieve trophies and achievements there, uh, some of them easy, some of them difficult. Anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's also a challenging game. It's nice, have a good story, like Lord of the Ring and uh, some familiar characters. 
and uh, the game agent engine is uh, based on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, uh, so it's, it's 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 interesting. So especially if you played some Assassin's Creed early Assassin's Creed games, you will like it. So I, I strongly suggest you to try Shadow of Mordor. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is the game released in 2015, and uh, well, it was a good game. It was a good game, much better um, than Unity. Um, uh, pro but there are also some back, how to say, uh, opposite opposite side of, of the coin, the another side of the coin. Uh, they make they simplified a lot of things. They remove all multiplayer, all online interactions. They simplified the game to increase the quality. So. I still think that with this game Assassin's Creed Syndicate, while it was not that ugly start as Assassin's Creed Unity, however, there are several steps back, steps back, and story and story also it kind of a little bit step back, but generally it's it's a it's, it's a good game. Jack the Reaper DLC was okay, okay. Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Um, uh, this uh, this game is like not 3D game. It's like 2.5D. Uh, it's made by for Ubisoft, not by Ubisoft, but for Ubisoft by another game company. So you will obviously see a different style. Um, that's not an easy game to play. Uh, can try, but of course it's not uh, the really Assassin's Creed experience. It's uh, more like uh, Prince of Persia. Uh, if you know that uh, Prince of Persia, if you tried it, it was started by Ubisoft and later Prince of Persia is uh, ev evolved into Assassin's Creed and li now a little bit back to Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Uh, well, um, but made not by Ubisoft, I don't know why. Just Cause 3, Just Cause 3, it's fun. This is just pure fun, so much fun, so much fun. But so many things to do, so many challenges. I just only regret there is no multiplayer, but the game is fun. And uh, um, I'm, uh, I bought some kind of like golden edition or something, I forget what's the name of this edition. So I still expecting three DLCs to this game, so I will try to do it. Bloodborne. Bloodborne obviously was a good game, and as you see, it's a uh, complete hundred percent on the of the main game and the old Hunters DLC. Well, but Bloodborne game is for like maybe for you should be the lover of this because it's really challenging game. So mostly for me, uh, it will be like too challenging. So this game mostly played by my son Andrew. He is more like. Uh, hardcore gamer and the old hunters DLC was pretty good uh, however somebody play this on like a uh, new game level because there are several levels like new game uh, new game plus new game plus plus so every time level is increasing somebody who play old hunters on the like normal basic level they think ah that's nothing but for example, we play these games on New Games Plus Plus. It was so challenging. Like, uh, at least two bosses was just like with over 50 attempts. That's so difficult. Anyway, Bloodborne is a good challenging game. So it's depend on your. Of course, it's depend on your uh, on your character. Uh, Magica 2 will try because it was uh, free on uh, PSN Plus. So we'll see what is this. Destiny. Well, I play this Destiny on PS4 and uh, yeah, I, I probably will give the Destiny so far for the last maybe one, two years, the top one, the top one game. I didn't complete Destiny on 100%, I still have one little trophy, not little trophy, just I still have something uh, left like flawless raider i should complete it for the platinum on destiny but i really spend i really spend uh, a lot of time on destiny even during 2015 uh, this is a good cooperative multiplayer and competitive multiplayer and uh, what is the most like important is how 
uh, the how the company how the gaming company taking care of the gaming community how they do the support that's just amazing so i think a lot of gaming companies uh, especially like uh, maybe ubisoft b because before we all play assassin's creed um, multiplayer and always complain to you uh, to uh, complain to ubisoft about the support about the bugs fixes about the community management and uh, finally what happened with our like maybe complaints of progress so they dropped multiplayer at all so they dropped multiplayer or they dropped online community at all even cooperative skipped but the destiny is completely opposite it's just they increase support they increase multiplayer features they increase interaction they fix bugs immediately some exploit something uh, they, they just they just tune, they just fine-tune the game. Uh, so if you are looking for the uh, online interaction for, for like longer standing, so Destiny, it's uh, still very good choice. And yes, there was DLC in 2015, Taken King, pretty good, pretty good. I didn't complete it, but I should, I should come back to, to finish it for 100%. Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited. Well, uh, this game, in my opinion, was... I'm, sh I'm sorry, the worst. It was the worst. And it's so disappointed. Uh, I, I paid so much money. I remember I paid... I, I, I tried to always to buy the good edition, uh, the most complete edition of the game. And I bought this Tamriel Unlimited like for 99 US dollars. And uh, when I started to play, it was so disappointed. Oh my god. And just... And you know, they don't return, they don't refund it so disappointed and it started from the uh, setting up online account um, which uh, it's not so obvious to do and uh, and buggy and finished that uh, i messed up online accounts i c couldn't really confirm or play but also the gameplay itself it's a kind of uh, a kind of laggy if you go to the city with uh, many like players inside it's so laggy uh, the animations and uh, all it ju just just crap I, I don't know maybe still i will try to see one more time but uh, just uh, in my opinion I, i'm just so disappointed that even don't want to don't want to press start on this game anymore okay witcher witcher 3 wild hunt <laughs> you see my progress is zero um it may be strange it's not I dislike this game and it's probably the game of the year um, which I may agree um, what happened uh, is when this game was starting I was starting this game and it was so long tutorial and I probably was a kind of tired uh, in the evening and uh, tried to I almost fall asleep anyway just I try for maybe three, four evenings uh, to continue this game and I almost fall asleep. <laughs> Usually when I play game I'm so excited, I wake up, I get the energy, but... Uh, so it's 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 little problem, so should should overcome that start. Probably it's from the start. Um, I will still... Uh, if for Elder Scrolls, I will probably will not try again. That for Witcher 3, I will probably, yes, I will do it again. Call of Duty Advanced, uh, Advanced Warfare. Uh, good, good game, good game. And good multiplayer, but this multiplayer is not for me, because the multiplayer, Call of Duty multiplayer community is, anyway, it's very strong, very experienced. Just come there, just shoot. I just only can spawn and live for two seconds. Um, so this multiplayer is not fun for me. But it is good. It is good. Just I'm not, I'm not that good for this good game. And uh, uh, there are a lot of like DLCs that probably uh, will complete. Uh, most probably Andrew, my son, will complete most of the DLCs trophies to make it really 100% done. 
Assassin's Creed Unity, it was like one year old, it, 2000, it was not 2015, 2014. Uh, that was uh, so far the probably the obviously the worst start of the game the uh, the worst launch that was so buggy so oh my god however that's a good good graphics of course uh, the paris they did the paris was the, the was awesome i loved because i have been in paris uh, and uh, yeah, I'm just kind of remembering all that historical locations and uh, you can climb and uh, look around, that's very nice. However, uh, yeah, laggy, uh, glitchy, Dead Kings was uh, also not bad DLC, fun, however also introduced with glitches, with something. And uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, there was it was the first game that also like caused the rage of multiplayer community because it was the first game first year without multiplayer but they replace it co-op with the game but of course it's nothing compared so it just was step back from multiplayer to co-op and later syndicate one more step back just completely re cancel co-op and any interactions for Assassin's Creed Unity, many uh, problems were caused by uh, connection to different services. Like uh, there was a companion app for mobile phones that didn't work well and uh, communication with the game was not made well so it's also raged uh, make outrage of the people because some unlocks can be do through the companion only and they glitchy in the main game uh, some of the things was uh, messed up because of the commun uh, because of the hardwired the game was hardwired to ac initiates website that was glitchy and actually never worked so finally it's caused the the death sentence to the ac initiates website at all but it was starting as when ac initiates was starting it was starting like fun if you remember the old ac initiates website website and fun you, you you think oh that's interesting that's so nice many information i still regret uh, they they just abandoned this uh, AC initiates just should it just just some little programming come on Titan Souls Titan Souls um, it was um, it's a, like a simple uh, 2d game but a very very really very challenging it's a simple game but with a platinum trophy uh, well it's kind of like uh, micro mini Dark Souls, but it can be very challenging. The Order, 1886. The Order, 1886, was very good game, a really very good game. However, what happened because the storyline was very short, so the people, uh, the game got uh, not good ratings. Uh, just because the story was too short and the story itself was very like cinematic most of the time you are watching uh, you are watching the movie and sometimes just suddenly you should press a key some super surprise you know uh, however the outfits uh, of the heroes for example the, the, it's also a little bit about the templar it's the templar order so if you play uh, assassin's creed, uh, creed games you understand what who are the templars who are the the assassins so you play as the templars and there are the templar orders and they have uh, some kind of unlimited life uh, because they drink from holy grails and 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 uh, uh, they are like fighting against like okay evil vampires but anyway the, the story itself it's pretty interesting and uh, the outfits these templar outfits are so awesome so if you really like fan of the <laughs> outfits or templar outfits this game has the best templar outfits of of all the games also i think the graphics in this game is one of the best it's so 
nice and realistic and you know, actually I, I'm I'm kind of I'm I still yeah I regret the story is so so short but the game itself is interesting and uh, the story is short but interesting Watch Dogs Watch Dogs and Bad Blood DLC was both are very good uh, and Watch Dogs it's offer some interaction offer some like uh, uh, online communications and there are multiplayer multiplayer not very popular can can try but multiplayer was not very popular in the Watch Dogs however it's playable it's still somehow playable um, the story and the, the Watch Dogs the game is pretty good and also the companion app was done nicely there so Watch Dogs a good game so if you never try Watch Dogs I, I would suggest, yeah, th this is, yes, obviously yes to try, it's not a waste of money, Watch Dogs. It's um, a little bit different from the Assassin's Creed, but mostly you are not assassinate, but you are hacking, it, it, it's fun, it's fun. Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield Hardline, well, I started this game, but I didn't complete this. Uh, uh, just this game is uh, if compare uh, uh, it's a shooter it's a shooter but the shooter game is so close to the Assassin's Creed that most because most of the missions you should complete like not detect it uh, you should do uh, like ta uh, like take off take out not just like you should do assassinations <laughs> silent assassinations so the the game itself uh, the story is a little bit too slow too slow but some trophies uh, there are multiplayer multiplayer uh, multiplayer is also for me is too fast multiplayer I still don't know how to play it uh, the game is too slow but I still will complete so the battlefield hardline well then uh, just uh, my 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 opinion of this is kind of neutral so no yes no no you can try um, that. Far Cry 4 Far Cry 4 is fun it's not as 100% uh, like go as a Watch Dogs and not as 100% as go as a um, as Shadow of Mordor but uh, however the Far Cry is a good game and yeah I, I would suggest to try it and uh, there is a nice open world uh, and there's uh, so much to explore uh, I like it I like it uh, there is also multiplayer that is in principle is playable but it's too complicated because you should in multiplayer you should collect some grass and <laughs> anyway it, it's very complicated you should remember a lot of little things uh, DLC was fun. DLC was fun. Yet is nice. Apotheon, I don't know. I, I just downloaded it as a free game, uh, but maybe it's worth to try. I surprised that in this game there is. Uh, it's a simple, like uh, low-cost game. However, there is uh, platinum trophy. So maybe it's difficult game. Maybe should try. Lords of the Fallen. Well, Lords of the Fallen. It's also deserves a special attention if you like Dark Souls if you like Bloodborne I will strongly suggest you to do try Lords of the Fallen Lords of the Fallen is uh, yeah it's very Bloodborne like but uh, maybe uh, with some elements I don't know maybe Lord of the Ring elements uh, with maybe more obvious storyline, a little bit more obvious storyline than Bloodborne. But also there are challenging bosses, uh, uh, there are puzzles and the labyrinths to explore, walking puzzles, uh, yeah, some, some mystical collectibles, upgrades. So Lords of the Fallen is a good game. So, but I would suggest you to try only if you like Bloodborne or Dark Souls, that kind of like boss fights that will challenge you. Loadout, it's a free game, free multiplayer. 
it's a fun game. I tried it, but a few times, of course, not for a long time. Uh, it's fun. The, 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 in the loadout is the most funniest game for the costume selections. And uh, at the launch of this game, they even uh, offered some like naked costumes completely with all uh, the things flying in the air. That was really fun, but probably uh, later the, the, the community or some, some rules or guidelines. So, so now the naked is just st still dressing some underwear. But uh, th this is just fun. Of course, it's just shooter. Yeah, you can try to play it. It's free for a while. Injustice, uh, no any uh, opinion at the moment, not sure we'll do this. Uh, it's obviously a good game, uh, in my opinion it's very close Mortal of Combat. it's not my style of games, um, but th that should be good. Uh, Blacklight Retribution, uh, online shooter, uh, free, uh, and they will sell you some weapon upgrades. Um, it's probably a good multiplayer shooter. Uh, however, well, if you have like Call of Duty and you play Call of Duty multiplayer, I don't think you will seriously go to Retribution to do this. Need for Speed uh, didn't play, just have a disc for this, have a gift. As a gift disc. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, PS3, PS4. You don't see much progress here because I actually I completed Assassin's Creed uh, for Black Flag on PS3 and on different account. So here I played Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You see mostly it's <laughs> multiplayer. I get some all the multiplayer trophy. And for the main game I didn't even complete sequence. <laughs> sequence, <laughs> stop and sequence. Sequence. Uh, like one, but yeah, I complete all the multiplayer trophies. They they made complete by the itself. I don't know. Maybe I seriously because I have a quest to have hundred percent for my P PSN trophies. So probably I should replay Assassin's Creed for Black Flag main story. Replay on this account just to get hundred percent. Assassin's Creed Three. Good game. Good multiplayer. But also you can see here in Assassin's Creed 3, uh, yeah, mostly I get all of the mu like multiplayer trophies, and uh, I even I have DLCs, uh, all the DLCs, but I still didn't complete the main story, and I didn't complete DLCs. Uh, now what happened? I installed back a PlayStation 3 and I will try to play more games on PlayStation 3. I will uh, complete Assassin's Creed Rogue first and uh, yeah in my quest in my uh, like run for hundred percent of the trophies I will probably uh, do the rest of the things in Assassin's Creed 3. If uh, you will ask me what I will do with Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed I still hope uh, they will release some, mm, maybe like re, 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 uh, a new version for the PlayStation 4. So like remastered in high definitions. Uh, I, I don't want to uh, buy Assassin's Creed 2 for PlayStation 3. I, I hope just they must, they must do this just in maybe in one year, in half a year. Uh, the edition, remastered edition of the uh, like old uh, Assassin's Creed for PlayStation 4 and obviously I will take it and I will play it all. Brotherhood. Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was uh, um, the best game I ever played and it was actually the first game I started my... Uh, I started my like play of... Uh, before I played only Assassin's Creed games. But it was started from the Brotherhood. The story, the story, I was, the story was so good that um, before I, I, I didn't think, I, I thought maybe playing games, it's a kind of waste of time. However, uh, after Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I changed my opinion and I think play a good game, play a good game, it's maybe equivalent to read a good book. 
because this game Assassin's Creed Brotherhood the story is as so good as a good book so and the, the later revelations uh, after Brotherhood revelation was also pretty good so it's also like a good book so revelations mostly I complete and Brotherhood I mo mostly complete but there are some still uh, trophies uh, yeah need, need to be done some of them very challenging because some DLCs and nobody plays mostly multiplayer uh, I start to play Assassin's Creed uh, multiplayer uh, from the revelations Brotherhood I, I didn't probably I should come back to play Brotherhood a little bit but now is not that easy to find multiplayer sessions yeah that's mostly uh, other game is uh, just little funny uh, old games that's that's now you know all the games I played on PlayStation 2 and 3 and also if uh, talking about other games I like to play uh, one of also my favorite games is Hearthstone but Hearthstone uh, by Blizzard it's uh, only on on uh, on PC computer so uh, anyway I play only on PC computer and then and mobile phone uh, there is no Hearthstone for PlayStation I don't know why maybe it would be a good idea to have one so the best and the worst maybe I should do the summary right Shadow of Mordor yes Syndicate okay Just Cause yes Bloodborne yes for lovers Destiny yes for multiplayer for the community Witcher not sure Advanced uh, Call of Duty uh, I, AW good AC unity uh, well if you if you seriously want to have a collect all the Assassin's Creed the order can consider Watch Dogs yes Far Cry 4 yes Lord of the Foreign yes for the la for the lovers Assassin's Creed Black Flag yes Assassin's Creed 3 yes Brotherhood double yes AC revelation yes so what I say no I would say no to Elder Scrolls, Tamriel Unlimited edition. That's probably my summary as for 2016. Wish you will have a good year of 2016 and wish we will have all good games in 2016. Have a nice game. <laughs>